My name is Kevin Singh and on today's episode of The Beard Show, we're here at Off The Rail Brewing in East Vancouver. With 15 taps pouring inside, there's always plenty of beer. Let's head on up and have a drink. So I'm here with Mike from Off The Rail. Mike, tell me a little bit about yourself. How did you get started in brewing? I sort of fell into it. Um, when I was quite young, I took a part-time job at a little brewery in London, Ontario, just doing the cleanup and the lifting, basically. And um, after about a couple of years there, the head brewer, uh, a woman named Catherine, decided that she would start showing me from the ground up how everything works. So. And then you came to BC and started and went to uh, Kitsilano Brewery. Yeah, yeah. When I moved out west in the, I guess early mid '90s, I, I took a job right away with Kitsilano Brewing Company. Uh, I was with them for the duration before they they closed it down. Uh, maybe about maybe 11 years, I guess. And then after that, uh, a couple of the little small spots in transition. But then I wound up at West Coast Brewing Company, which is now called Terminal City Brewing, and um, I was with them for. I'm guessing like 11, 11 or 12 years. And then uh, in August 2014, I came to work here with Steve. So this place says, uh, so you helped build this place, I guess, because uh, it opened in February of 2015. Yeah. Um, tell me about some of the beers you guys are brewed here. We've, yeah, we've managed to put a lot of different brands out at different times uh, outside of like what we call our main line, like the original, I guess, you know, this five that we all sort of always have around. But we've done, all different kinds of things, and uh, it's it's been really kind of fun. You know, like what do we want to do for our next seasonals? We're we'll come up with something different. Mm -hmm. and um, the Raj Mahal, this one right here. This quite the interesting story behind it. Yeah. I want you uh, tell us about that. Uh, the Raj Mahal actually was, uh, as far as the beer itself goes, was uh, that was Steve's idea from the ground up. He wanted to make a like an India style ale, like sort of like a, like a Kingfisher style of brewing. And with lime leaf and uh, and lemongrass in it, and um, I was just like, sure, give it a shot. You know, we've got a little pilot system, so so he managed to put this together. We made a couple of little changes in the, in the hopping in it, and the amount of lemongrass we actually put in it, we've changed around a bit. And uh, when it was all finished up, it was it's this recipe, it's this beer. But we were trying to figure out what we we're going to call it. And then our neighbor, the guy who runs the ice shop, his name's Raj. Um, he was such a huge help when we were building this place, like with forklifts, with space, with anything you can imagine. So uh, a gentleman used to work here, Rob, came up with the name. He's, we were brainstorming on a name for the beer and he says, why don't we call it the Raj Mahal? And we were just like, you know when you know That's it's like right? Perfect. It's like perfect. So. so. Well, it's definitely one of my favorite beers here. Yeah, won a gold medal at the Canadian uh, Brewing Awards. Yeah, so. you guys won a couple medals there, three medals, I think, there. Yeah, we got a uh, gold medal for this one, and we won a gold for our classic pale ale, and we won a bronze for our ESB. So as far as uh, what you guys are working on now, any uh, new beers that are coming out, any new recipes? Yeah, yeah, this uh, this spring we're hoping to, well, we're going to bring back the, the, the citra, the common citra beer, because it's people are always asking for it. But we're going to do a smash this year, like a single malt, single hop. Okay. Uh, we're going to do, we've got a couple of small batch um, uh, unfiltered half Weissens that we're going to, if they're right or only a little bit more fine tuning, then we'll probably go big on that. And we did a we did a small batch of Amarillo IPA recently that is it's outstanding. So that might get worked into a large batch. They'll all come out seasonal in bombers. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Um, as well, I wanted to get your thoughts on the craft beer scene. It's just, it's just just exploded over the past you know, few years here. Oh, it really has. It's yeah. been great to watch. Uh, and there's so many, so many good people that are in it. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I find most amazing about it is you'd think with such a dense population of people doing this kind of work that there'd be stronger sort of competition. And I'm not saying there isn't competition. If you're the sales guy trying to get taps at a bar, there's lots of competition. For sure. But as far as the producers and the, like the brewers and our and our people, and we all we're all the same. We all get along just fine. Like we're right across the road from Bomber, and we share the same uh, anniversary date as them. And what's one year difference? And uh, all those guys have been so great. Like if we if we run out of something, we can borrow it from them, or vice versa. And mm -hmm. same thing with all the other guys in the neighborhood, like Doan and Powell and Calster, all the guys and. It, it's just a, it's on the production side. It's a pretty great community. It seems like a very tight knit, tight knit community. 
Um, I want to ask you about your beard as well. How long have you been growing that for? It's technically it's just a perpetual state of unshavenness. <laughs> it's not really a beard per se, but. Beer makes up more than 45% of all alcoholic beverages sales in Canada. Cheers! Germany is the largest hop producer in the world. Cheers! Off the Rail Brewing opened its doors in February 2015, and my favorite beer is Raj Mahal IPA. Cheers! So Mike, what are we having here today? Uh, today we've got our Checkmate Pilsner, our Classic Pale Ale, our ESB, and our Nut Brown. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's try the Pilsner first. Tell us a little bit about this one. Uh, the Pilsner, it's a, it's a, it, Eastern Europe style. So we use uh, the traditional Pilsner hops in it. There's lots of Czech Saz. Uh, it's a two-step mash, basically. And um, it's, it's just a, it's an Eastern European style Pilsner. It's, it's, a, it's nicely balanced. There's a little bit of hop forward to it. Yeah. Okay, and next is the Pale Ale. You guys won gold for, yeah. for this one. For Canadian Brewing Awards, won a gold. Uh, it's an English style pale, so it's hopped with uh, Fuggles and uh, US Goldings. Mm. It's, um, well, that is good. Yeah, it's not too sweet, it's not too dry. It's mm. just a nice go to, it's an easy go into uh, Pale Ale. And you guys won an award bronze for this one, though? Yep, yeah, that's the ESB, the, ESB, the extra special bitter. And, uh, Amongst a lot of the malt profile in this one, the predominant flavor is uh, Amarillo hops, mm -hmm. and uh, they're quite distinctive, and uh, that's what kind of gives it that, that flavor. And finally, the uh, Nut Brown. The Nut Brown, yeah. So, how did this, how did the name? The Eastbound and Brown? Oh. Well, and I thought of the name because uh, uh, the Smokey and the Bandit, and the Danny, or the, um, the Jerry Reed song, right? So when I was talking to the people here about, oh, I'd be funny if we called it Eastbound and Brown, then, and they all went right to Danny McBride. So, so just to confirm, nothing to do with Kenny Powers, Danny no, McBride, it's, Eastbound and Down. It's all Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Great. Thanks a lot, Mike. No, you're welcome. So you come here pretty often. Um, what is it about this place that brings you back here? Um, I think just like their general variety. I mean, like if you look on the board, there's like 15 different beers spanning from like a smoke porter all the way up to a pale ale. And so there's just basically like you can try anything. Uh, I like people taking people from out of town here because there's just like so much more variety. And given its popularity, I think it's just like pretty representative of Vancouver's brewing scene. Right now, I'm drinking the. Oatmeal stout, and this is the porter, the smoke porter, really good. And I'm drinking the Crazy Strain IPA. So, do you guys come here very often? Uh, often? Yes, I would say so, at least once a month for sure, when we're in the area. Which is and what's the reason for coming around? What do you guys like about this place? Uh, we like the vibe, we like the neighborhood, we like sense of community there's yes. so many breweries in this area and this is definitely one of our favorites uh, well we're in town uh, we live a little bit out of town and we were thirsty and we know <laughs> we know that we can always find something delicious here and you guys have been here before I assume yes yes yeah and we like the vibe and we like the, the people who run the place and staff is is great and uh, the beer is really nice Tell me a little bit about the craft beer scene, because you've been in it for, for years with the Railway Club. You had a lot of craft beers there. How have you seen it grow in the past 15 years, I guess? <laughs> yeah, well, obviously it's, uh, it's, it's really taken off in BC. I, I think it was bound to eventually. We're a little bit behind our counterparts in the South. Uh, I love it. I think anyone who loves craft beer loves it. And I think there's still um, a, a huge growth that we can see happen with the craft beer scene. So that's a wrap at Off the Rail Brewing. From Brewery to the Bottle, some great beer. Cheers.